Hello there. Now, I know there's probably a lot of wrestling fans, especially of independent wrestling, uh, out there and here on the YT and other sites as well. Now, I want to talk about one particular independent wrestling promotion that I went to and was very much a part of as a fan and almost a regular on basis, and that is called Central States Wrestling. Now, you might... Now you might have heard of it before. It's called Central States Wrestling (CSW), and it has a lot of it had a lot of um, up and coming uh, independent performers there, like a, a Michael Strider, a Jason Strive, um, Mark Sterling, a Dingo, a T Tyler Cook, a Payday Patterson. You name some. If you name them, name some. If you you now if you recognize some of those names, you might recognize them because they've competed not just in Kansas. But in other places, like in Illinois and in Iowa and, you know, all over the Midwest, basically. Now, I don't really know what's happened so far to CSW Central States Wrestling because every time I try to go on online to the website, you know, it's gone. You know, there's nothing there. Instead, you get redirected to probably wanting to go to CZ, CZW website. I don't know what really happened, so... I don't know if Financial Times have hit them hard or what. But CSW Wrestling, Central States Wrestling, let me tell you something about it. Now, you probably all know this because you go to an independent promotion similar. Now, its main stops were in the Midwest, like I said. Sometimes they'd be going to, mostly sometimes they'd be in Kansas. Sometimes they'd be in Missouri, Illinois, Iowa, it doesn't matter. I don't know what location in the Midwest they were in, they were in it. The home headquarters, of basically, was Lawrence, Kansas. The home headquarters was in Lawrence, Kansas. And the arena was the National Guard Armory there in Lawrence, called, which they dubbed the CSW Arena. Now, that could hold up to maybe from the most... The biggest capacity that I was a part of was 300 people. And the reason there was 300 people that day or that night was because of the appearance of not appearance, but of the CSW debut of TNA star AJ Styles. You see, that's the one thing that CSW, and I'm pretty sure other independent promotions did. They brought in stars from, let's say, Ring of Honor or TNA. We had, in CSW, we had AJ Styles, Sanjay Dutt, Abyss, Samoa Joe. You know, we had them all. We, had, we even had Raven. You know, so that, that tells you something right there. We even had Christopher Daniels. You know, and, it, and the thing is, every time it was announced that one of those guys was coming, I mean, the place just erupted. It didn't matter if it was like 50 people there. Once word got out that a TNA or Ring and Auto star was coming, people would come. Heck, it's even, where my, it's even where I saw and even met Matt Seidel. Now, you know Matt Seidel nowadays is Evan Boy. But he was there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he was there. As a matter of fact, he defended and lost the Midwest X Division title in that CSW arena in Lawrence, Kansas. So, so CSW, Central States Wrestling, to me, was a very great independent promotion. Unfortunately, like I said, I don't know what's really going on right now. If they're taking a break, a hiatus, or what. But my advice to you is that if you've got a promotion like that around your area, around your hometown, I'd advise you go to it as much as you can. Because you never know when that promotion might disappear and reappear. You never know when that's going to happen. But that's just my advice to you and, and my explanation to what CSW was. And I hope you enjoyed it. You got any questions? Just let me know. Peace.